And it's also a form of hating. Hey YouTube, welcome to Religion Week TV. I'm your host, Spirituality, and my spiritual ears say... Guys, today we're going to talk about double standards, but before we do, check out all of these commercials and promos, and don't forget to go over to my channel, subscribe, hit that red bell, uh, red box and bell icon next to it, so that you can be a part of the Wink Squad. We are Wink Stars over here, and we're shining our light bright, right, in the midst of all the darkness going on in the world. So with that being said... Check out the advertisements, and I'll be right back. Hey, you all. Go over to Amazon.com where you can pick up a book for all your reading needs, from spirituality to baby books to Black Lives Matter and to, um, to tweens. You know, we forget about the tweens nowadays. But get over to Amazon.com, and you can get a book for all your reading needs. And while you're at it and you're over there, please get over to teespring.com where you can pick up this wonderful looking hoodie. And it says on the back of it, looking at you side eye. Wink stars were laced. Also, there's a t-shirt over there in the same line. And then guys, you can pick up your mugs. You can get it in this lemon yellow or you also can get it in what's called black. And they have the traditional white as well. So with that being said, thank you very much and let's continue. Alright, so did you like the merch over on teespring.com? And did you like the books over on amazon.com? Please, by all means, go over and get yourself something that belongs to Religion Wink TV. As you give us money, you'll get merch in, in return, you know? So guys, here we go. Double standards. <laughs> it amazes me how people say Don't put my name in the title But yet there's a lot of people who go through YouTube And in this world and use other people's names For clicks and views For a come up, for clout Other things I've noticed Especially on YouTube Hey you guys, hi Especially on YouTube is that people Uh We'll say children are off limits, but then talk about children, other people's children. Hell, even their own children some damn time. Another thing I've noticed on these YouTube streets is that people tend to want you to tell the truth, but they lie. Lie a lot. And also, wow, this is amazing. I'm looking kind of cute here, guys. And also, another double standard is that people want to be friends with everybody, but don't want you to be friends with certain content creators and uh, other YouTubers. I find that weird and strange. And a little creepy. And just a little creepy. What else? Um, also, yes, I got the silver little glasses on. Bringing out the little silver jewels. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. I always got to keep your eyes down when you're doing this. Other, other uh, double standards on YouTube is. Some people can work GoFundMe's. For some of the silliest things. But then when other people do GoFundMe's for some of the silliest things. They get ragged and dragged and roasted on. I don't understand that. Silly is silly, right? Alright, so. 
Moving right along. Some of the other things I noticed is some people cause other people to lose things on YouTube, but then when it's their turn to lose something, it's a problem. I'm just trying to understand, people. Please help me understand this. Help me understand all of it, for the love of God. You like my new backdrop? I know. I'm just sitting over here being so creative. Full of content. Well, actually, editing skills right now. Just doing different things with my backdrop. And I'm still in the same room, believe it or not. So, um, some other things I see as a double standard here on YouTube. Matter of fact, let me look and see if I can pull up any information about double standard just to let you know that I'm on to something here, people. On to something here, people. It's like people tell you not to deal with other people but then, yet, yeah, you see them in everybody's chat, right? So, let me see if I can get this up a little bit bigger. Alright, so I can see it a little something-something from here now. Hell, I may not even have to use the readers. But, let's go. So, a double standard is the application of different sets of principles for situations that are... In principle, the same. Same rule applies for everybody. But yet, this person over here can get away with it, and this person don't. And it is often used to describe freedom that is given to one party over another. There's a lot of double standards going on with different groups and uh, platforms on YouTube. Some can get away with things, and others can't. Why is that? A double standard arises when two or more people, circumstances, or events are treated differently even though they should be treated the same way. A lot of people should have been banned from YouTube by their behavior and the things they're saying on these YouTube streets to an extent. A lot of people should have lost their jobs. A lot of people should have lost supporters and subscribers because of going in on children or being rude and disrespectful sexually toward other people on these platforms and things like that. It works for one platform, but it doesn't work for another. Unless you're friends with the platform it's working for, that's not fair in my eyes. So, it says, even though the events are treated differently, even though they should be treated the same way, Across the board, right is right, wrong is wrong. That's why I like God. See, in the eyes of God, there's no double standards. He's no respecter of persons. Sin is sin in the eyes of God. Doesn't matter what degree or level it is. Anybody that sins get judged for it. Anybody that break laws on YouTube and any and everybody that break laws on YouTube do not get judged or treat it the same. Hence, there was one YouTuber, no my uh, no children, uh, roughly around forty eight years old, down in Texas somewhere. She told another content creator she to go find somebody child and pedophile them. Then you have other content creators talking about pedophilia. One get penalized and one don't. It's all an act of neglect and abuse to our children that across the board should indeed be judged the same so applying different principles to similar looking situations may or may not indicate a double standard in order to distinguish between the application of a double standard and the valid application of different standards towards circumstances that only appear to be the same Several factors must be examined. Let's see. One is the sameness of those circumstances. What are the parallels between those circumstances? And in what ways do they differ? 
Another is the philosophy or belief system informing which principles should be applied to those circumstances. Different standard can be applied to situations that appear similar based on qualifying truth or fact. And a lot of content creators lie. That's another double standard. You got content creators out here telling the truth, working hard with their content. Then you have other content creators out here lying and scavenging and, 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 and putting false narratives out about people. But yet, the ones that's doing the lying are getting more credibility on these streets. I don't understand that, people. That upon closer examination renders those situations distinct, i.e., a physical reality, a moral obligation to tell the truth or a lie. However, if similar looking situations have been treated according to different principles and there is no truth, fact, or principle that distinguishes those situations, then a double standard has been applied. A double standard has been applied when there's no truth in my book. There's a lot of people out here being truthful about what they're doing from their platform. And these platforms are being overlooked and being taken advantage of and being shunned on these YouTube streets, such as mine. And then you have other content creators out there lying and stealing and making up false narratives just to be relevant on these YouTube streets. And you people are praising that, worshiping forced idols behind that. Hell, worshiping people who don't tell the truth. There's a double standard here. If correctly identified, a double standard is viewed negative, negatively as it usually indicates the presence of hypocritical, biased, and or unfair attitudes leading to unjust behaviors. God, I'm good at what I do. Damn it. Because I just look out on YouTube and see what my content is going to be for today. And today we are talking about double standards. Now I'm going to have a call-in show live titled Double Standards. State your case about the YouTube nonsense to that effect. With a phone number later on this evening. Guys, please call in. Help my channel grow organically genuinely on real content hell i didn't have to go dig up nobody's past or lie on anybody to get this content it's original content based off of the lies i see on these youtube streets there's double standards going around what's good for the goose damn sure ain't good for the gander so with that being said people if correctly identified a double standard is generally viewed negatively as it usually indicates the presence of hypocritical, biased, and or unfair attitudes leading to unjust behaviors. Hence, all what you see on YouTube because people are living double standard lives. People are... Uh, imposing double standards on situations across the board you mess with children you ain't shit in my book across the board you lie to get content saying people sleeping together when they're not you ain't shit in my book to get content just to be relevant poking the bear picking fights with everybody across the board so you could be known in these youtube streets bullshit it's a double standard because if somebody else do it, then you want to call that person evil, negative, wicked, mean, bad, spirited. But what about yourself? What about you? Guys, this is Religion Link TV and my spiritual ears stay to the bull crap that I see in this world that's unfair especially on this YouTube streets you have some gay men that can call black women bitches but if a black woman call a gay man a bitch oh my god they're gonna send out the LGBTQ and P PD police department where they do that the, the standards are wrong in this world you all 
So you have standards with gender, the role that gender play, gender plays in determining people's moral, social, political, and legal context has been long debated. One of my favorite words I've been using. I'm on debate episode three. We can even debate double standards later on. Because I love people who are reasonable adults to talk things out on a public stage. Having different opinions. But at the end of it all, they don't play the devil advocates. They state their case. They don't agree to get along. Uh, uh, disagree to agree. They just state their case and let it be. And we move on respectfully it's been working over here for me three debates in right so it also goes on to say it's often controversial and i'm telling you when you sleeping with any and everything out there and you don't know if you identifying as a man or a woman double standards come into play some believe that differences in the way men and women are perceived and treated is a function of social and environmental norms Thus indicating a double standard. Hello. Hello. Bam. Bam. It's going to help y'all understand the sexual conduct going on. And the sexual perversion. And the spirit of the Baphomet go on these YouTube streets. One frequently discussed issue concerns the claim that a double standard exists in society's judgment of women's and men's sexual conduct research has found that casual sexual activity is regarded as more acceptable for men than women other research contends that women are held to stricter standards of competency than men as shown in studies involving the completion of perpetual task according to some double standards between men and women can potentially exist with regards to dating cohabitation virginity marriage uh remarriage sexual abuse sexual abuse sexual abuse sexual abuse sexual assault sexual assault sexual assault Sexual harassment and domestic violence and singleness. Look at these people on YouTube, guys. Something is internally wrong with these people. Then you have the law that's double standards with the law. Double standards with politics, ethnicity. And the list goes on. Causes and explanations of double standards are believed to develop in people's minds. <laughs> Where the devil like to play. See, everything they do wrong is right in their eyes. And then when they see you do right, or they see you do wrong, it's a problem to them. Check this out. For a multiple of possible reasons, including finding an excuse for oneself, emotions, clouding judgment, twisting facts to support beliefs, such as confirmation biases, Cognitive biases, attraction biases. That's where two content creators can hook up. They hook up and they support one another, right? Attractive biases. They like one another, but on the surface, oh, we just content creators. Behind the scenes, you never know what's going on. Prejudices. All right. Or the need to be right, damn it. You ain't always going to be right in this world. I'm not always going to be right. Human beings have a tendency to evaluate the actions of the people they interact with based on who did them. It's, it's, it's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and leave the rest of this commentary, the link to it down below. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed already, Please do so. Let's come back. Meet me here. Let's talk about the double standards that go on on YouTube. It may help clear up some of the confusion because I know the devil is the author of confusion. And anybody that like goddamn confusion all day, every day, it's the devil. 
is the spirit thereof, people. Is the spirit thereof. Thank you for tuning in to Double Standards. You've been watching Religion Week TV, and I am your host, <laughs> Spirituality. And my spiritual ears say, Oh, damn, hair hot, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, if you want to support this channel financially, please do so by PayPaling me at Drew L. Murray. 50, that's D-R-U-L-M-U-R-R-A-Y 50 at PayPal. And then you can also cash at me at Religion Wink TV. That's dollar sign Religion Wink TV. Thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. So guys, one of the biggest double standards I do not appreciate on YouTube is that you can get to 1k get monetized on your content whether it be good or not and other people can't on their content whether it be good or not that's the greatest double standard ever was good for the goose is always good for the gander if it's good for one black person one white person one bullshit channel another bullshit channel to get monetized then why isn't it the same for everybody why do you, the subscriber, the supporter, choose when everybody content pretty much is the same? You think my content is bullshit. I think the people you watch is bullshit sometimes. So we're all bullshit. We're all on here doing what? The best of our faith's ability. If it's good for one person to get monetized in this sector, you don't have no right standing in the way of other people getting monetized as well. And remember, when you prevent someone from meeting their goals on YouTube, but yet you claim to be meeting your goals every day on YouTube, that's another double standard. And it's also a form of hating. <laughs>